Okay, we have our frame all together. Now all we have to do is assemble the rest of the collector. Uh, as you recall, re you remember uh, we talked about the trickle-down tube before and the slots where it goes in. So the trickle-down tube will go right in here like this. So the water will enter the top of the collector and trickle down and be collected in a gutter at the bottom. But <laughs> it's a little too early to be putting this trickle-down tube in. We've got a little work to do first. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to install the backing for the, the collector. And uh, this is a, a piece of isocyanurate. It's a one inch by uh, 25 inch by 47 inch. Okay? So we just slide that in like this. So this is not only the insulation for the collector, this is also the backing for the collector. All right. Now the next thing, so, so the water is going to ride over the top of this. So we're going to have to put a waterproof underlayment on this first. And we'll do that. We'll also be using what I call bibs. Uh, this is the, the bib for the foot of the collector. This is EDPN. Uh, Gary Reese sent me some pieces of this just to, uh, to build these, this collector. Okay, uh, so that's the um, foot bib for the bottom. Uh, this is the head bib for the uh, the top, uh, the head bib for the, the bottom. Okay, so let, let's see if we can get a little closer so you can see what how this works in the head bib. It's a little hard to see. But you can see it has uh, kind of an odd shape. And uh, there's a reason for that shape and uh, you'll see that in just a moment. It has to fit right in here. Okay, this is our head bottom bib. Okay, uh, so the, the water from the trickle down tube is going to hit this first and then it's going to trickle uh, onto the uh, polyester felt mat. Well, we have to hold this in place with something, so we're going to use this insulation. This is a uh, one inch isocyanurate insulation. We're going to press that into position here. It's pretty tight. <laughs> it's always when you think you, you got it, then you don't got it. Okay, I think we got it now. Okay, there it is. All right, so that's in place. Uh, as you recall, this is where the trickle-down tube is going to go, right here, right? So we have a little more work to do. Let's do it. The next thing we'll need is the, uh, the mylar film. This is the mylar film. This is the underlayment mylar film. So I'm going to lift this, this bib up and slide this underneath it. Right, because you want the water to flow on top of this. This has to be waterproof. This is a waterproof sheet. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Next step, polyester felt. We just put our polyester felt on here, just like this. Okay, just center it the best we can. Now this should be about 25 inches wide. This piece is 24 inches, so or 24 and a half, so it's not quite wide enough. But uh, it'll do. It'll do. We'll make it work. Um, all right. So we put that on. What's next? What's next? 
we need the uh, we need another bib on top. Now this bib will force the, the water to go on the polyester felt. Alright, so this bib goes right in here like this. Just like this. Slide it right in there. See this section here, this is 23 inches. That's so it fits uh, on the inside of the, the collector. Okay, that's good. Now, what's next? Alright. Next thing is the mylar inner film. And that goes right on top of this. Like this. Okay. Just like this. All right. Now, you can see there's a little gap here on the bottom. So we want we want the water. We want to make sure the water uh, is all contained. So we're going to have to put one more bib on the bottom. here just like this and notice these tabs on the uh, the bottom bibs they stick out over the edge just about two inches I don't know if you can see that all right so we have uh, this is the upper uh, bib for the foot of the collector this one right here all right so we're almost done now all we have to do is hold all these bibs and the polyester felt together. So we're going to do that with insulation. You notice there's a little notch on here, and this is to accommodate the, um, the trickle down tube. Well, if you can see it from there, let's put you over here like this. Okay. That good. So, um, so we're going to press that right in here. All right, very good. We've just assembled the trickle-down mat, which consists of an underlayment, the polyester felt, and the inner film, the inner film on top. Okay, uh, now the next thing we need to do is uh, finish assembling the trickle-down chamber. So we're going to be using this top cross support right here. So we, can, we can screw that right into the, uh, the sheet metal. I'm not going to bother screwing it in right now, but I screw enough things up. Okay. And we also have this. This is the uh, bottom, uh, or the, the foot cross support, I should say goes on top. Now notice there's these little rubber bumpers on the bottom and they press gently against the uh, trickle down mat to hold it in place. Okay. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, we slide our trickle down tube in here. Let's see. Let me get you over here so you can see the trickle down tube. Now remember this is going to be screwed in place here. Uh, this is the trickle down chamber. So we just place this in here like this and just press it into the slot. Just like that. Oops. Made a mistake. This has to go on this side. <laughs> okay. I'll just tuck this EDPN down like this, over this way, and then we can tuck it down this way. 
All right. Uh, now this is also going to be finished with some uh, sheet metal trim, but um, this is the basic idea. Now, last but not least, uh, so we know the water is going to come in on the top through the trickle-down tube, and then on the bottom, uh, we're going to have to catch that water. And we're going to catch the water in a gutter made from a uh, two-inch PVC pipe. And that's what this is for. Okay, so we just slide it in like this. All right, uh, so this is the basic idea. Simple enough, right? Oh, one other thing we're missing is the glazing. This glazing feed is a little too short, but this will give you the idea. So it just fits in like this. And this is the uh, top part. It sets down so the top of the glazing is flush with the top of the collector. So on the top, we'll have some finished trim that will go right over the top here. And this will be a little longer, so the water will drip over the edge, and there will be another piece of trim that will go in on this side. Okay, well that's the basic idea of the trickle-down collector. Thank you very much for your time. You came along and picked the flowers from my mind. I could have sworn you turned the water into wine. And now I'm chasing dreams but falling far behind. But that's all fine. Who am I to change? Bell's been lifted now, I'm looking at your face But I can't help to think it's not the time or place I'd hate to call fate's bluff and make a huge mistake But that's okay Who am I to change things now? Who am I to change the way things have been? To dive a little deeper in the pool that we fell in I only hope I don't live long enough To regret what I'm missing The whispers grew into a deafening young roar The tables turned but in whose favor I'm not sure And now time's beating out of rhythm at our door But that's alright who am I to change things now? Who am I to change the way things have been? To dive a little deeper in the pool that we fell in? I only hope I don't live long enough To regret what I've been saying